This is the Renaissance era of what Jesus Christ looked like. So they took this image and they painted it and made it this image, making them white. Whereas the heathens did what? Had sought to paint the likeness of their images. They sought to paint the likeness of their images in our history. Right. So that when we start reading the history, we think everybody's white. But the, the music is a form of communication. The communication takes, give me that in Corinthians. The, the communication disturbs the mind of a God. Right. We are gods. You are gods. You are gods. Right. But you gotta learn how to tap into that God like mentality now. Right. You gotta learn how to tap into what God has created you to be. Right. This truth must be pushed throughout the state of South Carolina by all means necessary. Our people are in desperate need of God's laws out here. We're the men to stand boldly to get the job done against all opposition that standeth in our way. And opposition will come. In fact, it's already here. Every day we put our lives on the line to save our people. And that's even in the midst of all the opposition that come our way. But this is our mission. It's time to gather the saints from Columbia to Spartanburg, Charleston to Myrtle Beach. We hit the streets for the lost sheep. So men of war, gather yourselves together. Let's get ready for battle. Strap your boots, no excuse, let's push this true. Whether it's two by two or the whole crew, get ready, we coming through. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel, united in Christ, is a non-violent, Bible-based movement. IUIC. allowed them to come and put us in slavery in Charleston right, right. because we broke the commandments. Now I'm going to show you this. Read. Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Bring it out. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Who? O children of Israel. Because when you look on the back of the flyer, turn it over. Turn the flyer over. Where do you see yourself at on the back of that flyer? Do you have on one side what God calls you, on the other side is what the devil calls you. Right. What do you see on there? What does God call you? Read it. What does it say? Right here. Which one would you be? It says the twelve tribes of the, of the, the twelve tribes of Israel today. Who would you be? Judah. Judah. Right. Come here, brother Thomas. I can't come that far. Then I might call in long enough. Who would you be? Judah. Judah. Who would you be? You would be Judah. That's right. All of y'all are Israelites of the tribe of Judah. Right. Guess what? That means you ain't black because your shirt black. Right. My pants black. My right. boots black. Your clothes are black. You're not black. Right. You're not African American because right. that's two white people. Leo Scipio Africanus and Amerigo Vespucci. Right. They lied to you again. Right. You are not what this world has told you that what what you is. Yeah. You are what God says you is. That's you are right. an Israelite man, and God says that an Israelite man is what. Go back to that in uh, is, yeah, in Psalm three. Psalm chapter eighty-two and verse six. I have said, "Ye are gods." You are gods. You are gods, right. but you got to learn how to tap into that God-like mentality now. Right. You got to learn how to tap into what God has created you to be. Right. From this day forward, you can, if you die tomorrow and you had to go and stand before the Father, you cannot say to the Father that you thought you was black right. or that you thought you was an African-American. Right. Because the Bible, I just made it clear out the Bible, God says you're a God. You're an Israelite man from the tribe of what? That's who came into those docks. That's who came into those into those slave ports here in Charleston. That was Judah. Right. Some of Benjamin. Right. Some of Levi. Right. That's you. So you gotta come out of the doctrine that they're teaching you in school. Right. School ain't teaching you nationality because if they taught you nationality, you would know that you're a god on the earth. Right. And, you, and, and you're supposed to do something. What are you supposed to do? Let me see what the Bible says. Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men. Why do we die like men? Because we're in sin. Right. right. We're in sin. Gods don't sin. You understand that? Gods keep the commandments of their father. Right. That's why Jesus Christ was such a great man on the earth. Right. Because he kept the charge of his father. Gods don't walk the earth and commit sin. We don't walk around with blunts in our mouth. 
We don't walk around smoking on cigarettes and black and mouth. We don't do that because that's defiling our temple. We don't walk around with our pants sagging up under our ass. You know, if you spell sagging backwards, what does it spell? It spells nigga. You see that? Gods don't walk around whoring their sisters out. Gods get married. Gods start businesses. Gods run governments. Gods set up and control communities. That's what gods do. Gods rule families. We don't have broken homes. That is what a god does. But America says, now, nah, man, be promiscuous. You go out there and sleep without them hoes. Shoot, this is for everybody. Don't, don't, ain't that what the music teach us? Why do they pay these rappers millions of dollars, brother? Why do they pay these rappers millions of dollars? Huh? To sing what? To sing about garbage to keep you thinking that that's how we supposed to live. Yeah, right. That's what they're doing. They gonna pay. Now who like who, who like Rich Homie Corn? Didn't he just die? Y'all like Rich Homie Corn? Yo, you know who that is? Do you like his music? He was garbage. He ain't the only one garbage. You like young? You, you like you like the baby? Garbage. You like Jay Z? Garbage. You like Nas? Garbage. And Nas be talking about some stuff sometimes. Some 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 sometimes Nas be all right. But the, the music is a form of communication. The communication takes, give me that in Corinthians. The, the communication disturbs the mind of a God. Right. Because now instead of sitting down and learning the scriptures, instead of sitting down and learning the Bible, you listen to you that gods don't work like that. Right, right. Communication is how they're destroying us. Watch this. Right. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. Right. Be not deceived. Don't be deceived because you're a God. Gods cannot be deceived. You understand that, brother? You're a God on earth. You can let nothing deceive you. The Bible says, be not deceived. What? Evil communication. Evil what? Communication. Rap music is evil communication. Yeah. All right. Young Thug, Gucci Mane, uh, 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 Lil Shawty Low, he dead too. He dead. He dead. Yeah, he did. Uh, yo, who? Young boy. Young, you, 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 listen, you, you listen to him? Young NBA? Garbage, bro. You know why? Because he ain't, what are you talking about? Getting money, popping pills, going out there having sex with a whole bunch of hoes, doing this thing, living that life. That's what he talking about. Am I lying? That's right. Huh? What good are he talking about? Make it play. Did he tell you you're an Israelite? Make it play. Did he tell you that you're an Israelite? Do you hear that in this music? You don't listen to him? Who do you listen to? Listen to your homeboy from right here in Charleston? I told y'all the Chuck support the Chuck, boy. I ain't from the Chuck, but I'm gonna learn to talk like the Chuck, boy. I'm gonna tell you, boy. I'm gonna tell you something. Y'all support each other here. I gotta give it to you. Y'all have a nice, tight niche here in Charleston, even though you got bad communication here in Charleston, too. That's why brothers are getting shot down over here. Brothers are getting shot down over there. Is that the truth? Am I lying? It's the truth. Why? Because this right here. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Your good manners is supposed to be as a God. That's right. Your good manners is supposed to be walking as a God on earth. Because right. go back to Psalms 82 and 6. As a God on the earth, he says, I've said ye are gods. All of you are children of the most high. But you're going to die like men now because we're in the midst of sin. That's you're going right. to die like men because you in sin. Make but what? Mind. What are they supposed to do? Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. Right. Right. I have said, ye are gods. Uh -huh. And all of you are children of the Most High, but ye shall die like men. You gonna die like men and fall like one of the princes. The princes are those that are in these high places right now. The princes are the so-called white men. They sit high up in the uh, in, in offices. Right. They are the one that govern us now. As a god, you can't govern yourself because this happened to you, and another nation was set above you. We're gonna get that in a minute. They were set above you. Now you as a god, you can't govern yourself. Right. So the princes that are governing us right now are the so-called white men. Hold on, let me finish this verse. Read this. Arise, O God! What did God tell Kilo to do? Arise, O God! God says, arise, Kilo, and do what? Judge the earth! Do what? Judge the earth! You're supposed to be a judge of the earth, bro. Right. You know what that means? That means you're supposed to be setting all these nations in order. Right. You're supposed to have this microphone teaching your people like I'm teaching you right now. That's, right. That's what God made you to do. Right. Right. That's your purpose on this earth. Right. Rick told me, right. all these rappers, even your homeboy, he need to repent and learn to keep the commandments of God. Right. Right. We ain't getting nowhere. 
Even if he made a million dollars, even if he got a record deal that will put all the homies on, guess what it's going to perpetuate in this community? Bring it out. More violence. Right. More right. drug selling. Right. More robbery. Right. More rape. Right. And that is the purpose of the so-called white man. Right. His purpose is to keep us divided and destroyed right. Right. by evil communication. Right. Right. By evil communication. Why do you think they had such a rampage blow up when they made Christ a black man in the movie, uh, what's the one that just came out? Clarence. Clarence, Book of Clarence. Why you think white folks were so mad about that? Why, why you think? Why you think they were so mad about the Book of Clarence? You never watched it? Well, on the Book of Clarence, Jesus Christ is depicted as a black man. Right, right. But what does the world say Jesus Christ look like? Which one, is, which one they say Jesus Christ is? Which one? This one right here, with his little, touch of his little heart. Is that in the Bible? Have you ever read that in the Bible? Kilo, you, have you ever, have, have you ever heard about this image being in the Bible? You never believe in a white Jesus? Why? Because you black yourself? I told you you got something in your eyes, bro. I see it. I see it. You can put it down because Jesus Christ don't look like that. Why would you believe? You would think. Our people would say, why would I believe in a God that looked like the same person that did this to my people? Right. That's right. You need to tell me the people that put chains on my neck, chains on my ankles, and chains on my hands, they now are my, uh, my, my saviors? Right. They gonna come and save me now? Right. Is that what you believe? Do you believe that Jesus, that so, the Jesus that they told us to believe in is coming to save you? Do you believe that? You see how I had to bring my tone down? That's how they teach us. Right. Jesus is gonna save you. Right. When they talk like that, who they talk about? When they say, son, raise your hand and say the sinner's prayer. You right, let the door start. When, when they say, when you when they say, say the sinner's prayer and you shall be saved. What image comes to your mind? When they say, raise your hand, son, and say the sinner's prayer and you shall be saved. What image comes in your mind? Turn them. Turn them over. Let them, I want to pick one. What comes to your mind when they say, raise your hands and say the sinner's prayer, and the Lord is going to bless us? What comes to your mind? Is it this one? This right here, right? This damn demon right here, right? right. You see how you see the warfare that we're fighting? You see what we're fighting? Right. We're yeah. fighting an image that's in your mind, even though you know it don't exist. Right. Even though you know the Bible says that Jesus is black, you're still fighting an image that has been placed in your mind before you even got into existence. Because the Bible don't say that. Right. The Bible don't say that Jesus looked like that. But when they say, believe in God and say the sinner's prayer, especially when we get in trouble. Boy, don't let a black man get in no trouble and get arrested, boy. The first thing you do when you go to jail is do what? You ever been in jail, Kilo? You been in jail? What, how long have you been in jail? Four my ass. You did five months? Now I'm a question. Come here, I wanna ask you something. Why don't you be real, Kilo? When you got in jail, what's the first book you grabbed? Okay. You had no book. Okay, let me ask you another question. When you got to jail, and you had to do them five months, what's the main book Negroes was reading? Come on, man, stop playing, man. I need somebody who done been in jail to tell you been in jail. Okay, how long you been in jail? Six months. What's the first book a Negro grab when they go to jail? I didn't have no book, but after I did get a Bible. A what? A Bible. How many other people had a Bible? In there, two. Only two people had? You must have been in jail with five people. It was kind of small. It was small? But my whole point is, when black people go to jail, boy, look here. The first thing we do is grab a book. Wait, can I get a Bible? Can I get a Bible? We want to know God. Hey, we want to know God at that point. And what God is it we hoping that's going to get us out of jail? What God do we think do you think comes to mind when we when we want to get out of jail? This one right here. But I'm gonna show you something. Give me that in Maccabees chapter three, verse forty-eight. I'm gonna show you what they did. I'm gonna show you why you believe that why they how, how this has been put into your mind, Kilo. Because you, you you always thought God was black. That's good. And you got a lot of young men that grow up like that. That's why I say you 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 gotta tap in, bro. You gotta tap in. You got something in you, and the Lord want to reveal that. That's why your feet are here today. The Lord put them feet right here. I'm going to show you what they did to our to our history, which makes you automatically think of this damn devil when you, end up, when you want to go to God. Watch this. 
First Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 48. Bring it on. They laid open the book of the law. The book of the law is what? The Bible. They laid open the book of the law. Come on. Where are the heathen? The what? The heathen. The heathen is your so-called white man. The heathen is the so-called Arab man. The heathen is the Chinese man. Right. The heathen is every nation outside of your people whom today they, they call black, Hispanic, and Native Indian. Right. Everybody right. else are heathens according to God. Right. He only chose one people, the Israelites. That's, right. That's why they got to keep us divided. Right. They got to make you think that Mexicans are, are on their own, that they're going to, uh, 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 Latinos are split up and there's different races of them and that Haitians are theirs, and that Jamaicans are theirs, and that American blacks are that. We the same damn people, bro. We all of the children of Israel. But they labeled us and gave us new different names to confuse us. But they are the heathens that the Bible is talking about. God says they laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathens did what? Had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Now look right here. You see this right here? This man's name is Cesare Borgia. This is the Renaissance era of what Jesus Christ looked like. Right. Michelangelo took this image and started drawing Cesare Borgia. You see this right here? Look right here. You see this image right here? They copied this image from this image right here that was made in 912 AD. Right. This is the Renaissance era of what Jesus Christ looked like. So they took this image and they painted it and made it this image, making them white. Wherein the heathens did what? Had sought to paint the likeness of their images. They sought to paint the likeness of their images in our history. Right. So that when we start reading the history, we think everybody is white. Everything is white. When you look at the history and when they give it to us, the Egyptians, what color are they if you let them tell the story? White. The damn Africans from way back in the bath from the, uh, 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 these old tribes, when you, when, if you let them tell the history, what color would they be? White. Pharaoh. Pharaoh in the Bible. Pharaoh in the Bible was a black man. But if you let them tell the story, what color was Pharaoh? White. Because they took our history book and they changed the images. That's why when you look at Jesus Christ, it went from this to this. To this damn demon, I don't know what this is with rags on his with rag, this, this stringy hair hanging down. But the yep. Bible says that he is a black man. Give me Revelations. That's right. Give me Revelations out. chapter one, verse fourteen. I can't let you leave. I gotta read this. What I got you holding? Read Revelations chapter one and verse one. Yeah. The revelation of Jesus Christ. What's the root word in the word revelation? What is the root word in the word revelation? Reveal. Hey. Reveal. You got revelation. Revelation. Why does Christ have to be revealed? Because Christ knew in these last days, everybody would think that this right here is Jesus Christ. Everybody would think this is Jesus Christ. That's why the book is called Revelations. Revealing of Christ. This is the revealing of Christ. Give me John verse 1. Give me verse 1. Revelation 1. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Oh, yeah. The revelation of Jesus Christ. This is the revealing of Jesus Christ. If you ever thought that Jesus Christ was a white man, well, we're going to read and prove out the Bible that he is black. That's right. And he is alive today. Right. And he is watching you right now. That's right. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. God says, I gave this to John to show to my servants. You are the servants of God. Give me that. You are the servants of God. Who are the servants? The children of Israel are God's servants. Remember, we went into slavery because we were supposed to do what, Kilo? What were we supposed to do? Serve God. We were supposed to serve God, meaning keep his commandments and rule the earth. That's what he made us for. He put us down here to keep the commandments, to rule the earth, and to govern it. But we went against that. Read that. Leviticus chapter 25 and verse 55. Bring it out. For unto me, the children of Israel are servants. The children of Israel are God's servants. Remember, who's the children of Israel? Follow me now. Who is the children of Israel? Don't go to what Thomas. Right now. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You are the children of Israel. Now watch this in Revelation. Go back to Revelation. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. To 
servants are the children of Israel. He gave this to John to show to you. He said, I'm writing this for 2024 to show to Kilo, Thomas, John. What's your name? Brother in the red. Game caught true. What's your name? Rico. Rico? And Rico. This was written thousands of years ago for you to hear today. You are the servants of God. Come on. Right. Things which must shortly come to pass. The things that must shortly come to pass in the revealing of Christ because they painted his image white and they told the whole world that he's a white man. Read. Right. Right. And he sent and sanctified it by his angel unto his servant John. Jump up to uh, 10. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So John said, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. What's the Lord's day? The Lord's day is today, Saturday, the Sabbath day. That's the Lord's day. He made this day and hollowed it between us. It's the Sabbath day today. Today is our day of rest with our God. That's right. He says, I did what? I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. He was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Come on. And heard behind me a great. Come on. A great voice. And heard behind him a great voice. So Kilo, turn your back. If I said, if I'm behind you, Kilo, and I said, Kilo, what you gonna do? You gonna turn around and see who's screaming your name, right? So John said, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard a great voice behind me saying, John. He turned around. Let's see what John did. As of a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book. So he told John, after he got John, what's your name, sis? Angela. Angela, if you was walking down the street and I tried to get your call you, I would say, Angela! You would turn around to see who called you, right? So John said he turned around to see the voice that spoke to him, and what happened? Saying, I am I am Alpha and Omega, uh -huh. the first and the last. So the voice, that's the, when he turned around, the voice said to him, I am Alpha and Omega, right. the first and the last. Come on. And what thou seest. And what you about to see, John, what you about to see, John, with your two eyes, what you about to see, write in a book. I want you to write this in a book for future times because they're going to change my image. They're going to make you the white man. I need you to write this write this down what you about to see, John. So John said what? And send it to the, unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, unto Smyrna, unto Pergamos, uh -huh. unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. Uh -huh. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. So John says, I turned around to see the voice that spake to me. And what happened? And being turned. And being turned around. When he turned around, what? I saw seven golden candlesticks. He saw seven golden candlesticks. Uh, we ain't got no menorah out here. Dang, we need a menorah. Anyway. Oh, right there, right there, right. I ain't got one. Okay. Seven golden candlesticks. You see this right here? These are the seven golden. Deep. This is an image of what John saw. Right here. This is the image. Pull this up. This is the image of what John saw. He said, I turned around and I heard the voice that spake with me. And what? And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. Uh -huh. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. So he saw the seven golden candlesticks. That's a menorah. Go on. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. And in the midst of the, of the seven candlesticks, like this image right here. Come on. One, like One that looked like the sun. What? Unto the Son of Man. Now, why would John say he looked like the Son of Man? Why would John say that? No. Remember, this is A.D. This is about 63 years after the death of Christ. So, if, if Kilo, if me and you, if I walk with you, we were on the earth at the same time, right? If I don't see you for 63 years, are you going to look the same? No. So when John turned around, he said, I saw one that looked like the Son of Man. Because John hadn't seen Christ in 63 years. Come on. Clothed with the garment down to the foot. He said he had on a garment that was clothed down to the bottom of his foot. Come on. And girt about the patch with a golden girdle. He had a girdle wrapped around his waist. Come on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Now wait a damn minute. The Bible says his head and his hairs were white like wool. How come they lowered their, they lowered their little voice and they talk like this and say, pray to Jesus. They talk about this dude right here. Is his hair white like wool? Hell no. That's strike one. Come on. His hair is not white. It is not wool. But your hair 
if you get 60 years old, how what what, what color your hair gonna be? It's gonna be white. We'll if you got if you got any hair at all, <laughs> cause you might go bald, forehead bald right there. Let me see, like that, bro. See, he got you see that right now. But he still got he got white in his hair. He as he age, it's gonna become white, white, white. We can't be afraid of what what we, what what it turns into. God got hair like this. God got hair like this, bro. He said, "What? Read it again." And his head and his hairs were white like wool. His hair ain't white, and it damn sure ain't woolly. That's strike one. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes ain't as a flame of fire. His eyes is blue. Look at that right there. Fire is red. His eyes is blue. That's two strikes. Come on. And his feet. Now we talking about his feet. Now if you took them socks off, I would see your feet. They would be the same color as your knees, same color as your hair, same color as your face. Am I lying? Am I lying? Now John says, I'm looking at his feet. Come on. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brass. Brown. Brass is brown. You think he got some brown on his feet? Bring it out. Is his feet brown? No. Hell no, his feet ain't brown. So who is this damn demon that they've been pushing on us for over 500 years? For thousands of years been being pushed in the earth. Bring for over it. 500 years here in America, they've been teaching us that this is Jesus Christ. Who the hell is this demon? His name is Cesar Bochea. His name is Cesar Bochea. And his feet. And his feet like unto fine brass. Uh -huh. As if they burned up. In a furnace. Now, if you take that brass yeah. and you strike a lighter and you yeah. burn it, what color does it turn? Black. It's gonna turn what? Black. It's gonna turn. You ain't gonna turn white. It's going to turn black. Right. The Bible says, and Revelations is revealing to us. After 63 years, John is saying, I looked and turned to someone that looked like the man that I walked with on the earth, whose name was Jesus Christ, and his feet. Were like they were burnt in a furnace. That's meaning right. they were black as hell. Right. So that means Jesus Christ is a very, very, a very, man. very dark skinned man. That's right. There's no way in hell that the oppressor who put you in chains are going to come back and save you. Now, do we want salvation? You want salvation? You? 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 Do you believe that there is salvation? Yes. Do you want salvation? How do you get it? You don't know? What about you? Anybody know? Anybody know the way to salvation? No. Give me Psalms chapter, what you got? Yeah, 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 I want that, and then I want Psalms 19 and 7. Read this. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? Because if you ask any of our people, bus driver, Watch that, bus driver. You want eternal life? You do. You want eternal life, right? How do we get it? Yeah, we point up. Now we don't. Not this point. Remember, this young man. That was his question. He said, "What good thing that shall I do that I might have eternal life?" Wait for the answer and see what Jesus said. What Jesus said? And he said unto him, uh -huh. "Why callest thou me good?" The first thing that Jesus did was take all the all, all the credit off himself. He said, "Don't call me good, but what? There is none good but one. There's only one good. Come on." That is God. That's my father that's in heaven. That's right. Come on. But if thou will enter into life. And if you want to enter into life, if you want eternal life, what? Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. Keeping the commandments is the way to eternal life. Hey, that means, right. sister, you can't wear pants. Right. You got to put on a dress. Right. Because that's what God says you're a princess. And wearing pants is the opposite of what God set up for our sisters. Have you, ever, you, you remember the, the queen? The queen dead right now. She dead. Thank the Lord. The queen. You know she had a chariot made of gold with pictures of our ancestors on her in slavery. Hey, somebody pull up that image. She got a picture. There's a picture of her riding on a chariot with horses made out of pure gold with slave pictures on it. Somebody find that for me. I want to show y'all. The queen is dead. She commissioned a lot of evil on the earth against our people. That's right. But have you ever seen her in pants? Have you ever seen a queen period in pants? No, because God established a dress code for men and he established a dress code for the women. Right. So when we dress outside of that, we are breaking his commandments. Right. I'm going to show you that. And then I'm going to show you all what y'all got to do. Get me the next teacher ready. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 4. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. This is how.
child, you're going to get eternal life. God says, the woman, she shouldn't wear that which pertain to a man. Come on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. And neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What's a woman's garment that a man shouldn't wear, Thomas? Huh? Broad dress. You shouldn't wear that. So what's a man's garment that a sister shouldn't wear? Pants. You know, you good sister. Because most sisters, they'll be like, uh-uh. These women's pants. Ain't no damn such thing as women's pants. The more princess pants. They the one that told you you can wear pants. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 